Okay, Wyatt says, uh, my Microsoft account got hacked and they changed the email and password and I can no longer log into my account. Hey, Hal, this sounds like a conversation you and I had about my system a couple months back. It says that my account doesn't exist anymore. It doesn't work with my phone number or email. What can I do? Thank you, microphone. Uh, not a whole <laughs> like of a lot. Unfortunately, um, um, let's see, where am I here? I need to get back into our little shady thing. Okay, there we go. Yeah, under the under a circumstance like that, if they've gotten in and changed your uh, your email address and your password, then what that, what that's telling you is correct. Once a an email account has been deleted, it's gone. It it can never be reused again. It goes into a bad database that's essentially uh, never never land for email addresses. Is there anything um, you can you call Microsoft support for that? Is there anything they can do? I mean, that's, you this can't is a, call Microsoft support because that's um, I've got a. a couple of links here. Uh, one of them is uh, uh, helping uh, with uh, micro account, with your Microsoft account recover, recovery. And another one is uh, how to recover a hacked or compromised Microsoft account. The thing of it is, particularly if you're talking about email, that's all done. That's all done through an automated service. Microsoft personnel don't even have uh, access, don't even to, have that. access yeah. to that. Yeah, this is one of those situations where I mean, I know I can preach enough uh, that, you know, the issue that I had was that I had a number of accounts at different people and it's a demo system. So that the, the impact was minimal. Um, and I had MFA turned on for every one of them except mine. And so that's mm -hmm. like, that was compromised. Now I got I, like, I, it wasn't this, they didn't delete anything. They weren't able to go and do anything, but they, but they hacked in, uh, you know, messed with some things. I was able to go and correct it. Um, but it's just annoying and it took a bunch of work and or after a couple of days of resetting things. Um, so, you know, no data lost or anything. So thankfully, uh, but why it's so important to turn on MFA to make sure that you have a re secondary recovery email that you get notifications. Like I have no fear of that anymore because I, I realize daily how annoyed I am to have to prove that I am me for normal logins. <laughs> How much and, harder it is for hackers and, now to get in, you know? And a couple things to remember, things to remember about MFA, you want a bunch of different second factors. You know, your main one's going to be username and password, but those second factors, there are so many cases that I see where, oh, that old phone, I don't have it anymore. I can't use the number. Oh, that old email account, I don't have that anymore. Oh, hey, it was supposed to call me, but uh, it's a landline and I don't, and I can't get text messages on that. Yeah, Microsoft made that mistake through my way of thinking and I about got caught with it. Uh, because I've got an Outlook.com account and, you know, was in there looking one day and then instead of seeing a voice, it says text and it's like, no, you can't text that number. But yeah. you want as many of those different things as you can. There's another one in dealing with uh, with your Microsoft account. There is a, uh, a uh, QR code that you can use as a, an emergency get back, get out of jail card, essentially, that you can generate from your Microsoft account. Uh, you know, take a picture of that. Uh, it's a QR code. You know, hold that in front of your 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 uh, your, your PC's camera. And I mean, I've never have been in a position to do that uh, that, but that might be something that, in a circumstance like this, might get you back in. But literally, if they've uh, if they've if they have removed and deleted your your user account, that's Microsoft takes that seriously. That that user account is gone. It is no more. Yeah, that, that's incredibly malicious when you which think means about, please turn MFA on, please, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm begging you. It's this is not the normal thing where they are hijacking your account or using it to spam out emails like this. This is pretty malicious and it I think it serves as a good example. And I'm sorry that this happened to you, White, but it's. These email accounts. Uh, 
become an extension of your online identity and they they do need to they do need maintenance uh, whether it's a security checkup uh, wizard that might come with the email service uh, password hygiene all that type of stuff it's uh so it shouldn't be that thing where we are creating that free email account and never touching that password again for 10 years. Yeah. I think all of us are guilty of that yeah. at some level. So I, I'm not saying or suggesting why that you're doing anything wrong. You're doing what everyone else in the world does, but it's to the point now where our identities are are more are pretty valuable and they're all connected to these types of email accounts. So lesson learned. To lose your email account, that's, and there's so much you that's, can that's lose with horrible. all that. I mean, I'm a pack rat when it comes to my email. I mean, I've got stuff going back to the, you know, 2007, eight, nine, back when I first got the account going. Not much necessity for that these days, but a lot of memories, a lot of photographs that hang around those emails that I've forgotten are even there. And I go back and look, and oh wow, you know, that kind of thing. It can be exceedingly important, and you, you really. MFA ain't that big a thing to set up. It's it's a it's a, it's a switch, and giving them a couple of different things to go with. And for the most part, it is entirely unobtrusive. If you're doing something regular with with the same set of devices, it will remember them. It's not going to bug you again until you come in with something you don't know about. Right. And even then, you're only get going to get bugged once. And as long as you continue to use that one device, you're home free. Yeah. It's, the it's the just only not issue with I the run effort into to is... not have it. I mean, so the issue I run into with MFA is just because of my VPN, you know, and so then it's it doesn't yeah. recognize me each time. But it's like during the day, it's fine. Maybe once in a while in the middle of the day, it'll my screen will time out as I get up for lunch or something, come back and I'll have to log back in. That's why Authenticator on the phone is the your, your best friend with MFA. Mm -hmm. and, and it's it's I'm I'm happy to jump through those hoops to not have to go through the pain of losing data and uh yeah being in fear of that having had a couple clients that have gone through that with ransomware like i i that's when i went in to check and thought i had turned on across the board with all the various accounts but missed one so. Thank you.